What's up, Snell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're gonna be blasting Death Worship Extermination Mass Ross Bay Cult Eternal and Nuclear War Now. I cannot wait for the end times mini LP to drop. But this is some of the best Black Death Bestial War Metal in the fucking game and probably ever recorded. That's just my opinion. I am just a massive, massive Death Worship fan. Extermination Mass. Fuck yeah. Like, as much as I love Conqueror, Blasphemy, etc., you can't go wrong with how just perfect Death Worship do it. I mean, and it's understandably why. I mean, if you look at the lineup and whatnot that play on this, it's like, oh, this all makes sense of why this is so fucking badass. And that's because you have Jay Reed on session drums and effects. R. Forster on guitars, bass, vocals, and effects, and Black Winds on additional vocals and effects. So, fuck yeah, if for some reason you've yet to hear this yet, get on it. And the demo version of it is just as fucking good. And speaking of amazing bestial Black Death demos... I kind of went over this on the Osmos Productions version of Blasphemy Gods of War, as the B-side has the vinyl version of Blood Upon the Altar, which was reissued by Nuclear War Now. I think they were working on a Blasphemy box set, which I hope is still in the works. But, thanks to Dominic over in the UK, he sent this 1989 fucking masterwork of a demo over from Vancouver's Blasphemy, the Blood Upon the Altar demo. And this is the Nuclear War Now 2018 reissue. It's great having this on vinyl. And not having to rebuy it. I know some people have gone out and repurchased Gods of War and have repurchased the demo. I do not have that type of money, as I also am still hoping that maybe the Blasphemy box set will come out and, you know, be able to get the uh, live ritual in Brazil and whatnot and everything. And have it all under one roof without me going out and buying random LPs that... I, I forget what live blasphemy it is. I think it just might be like live ritual or something like that. Where it opens up and the soundboard guy is still playing like something completely different. And it's like some new metal band and it's just... Real weird. I, I don't remember. I think it's just called Live Ritual. Friday the 13th or something like that. But that's besides the point here. What's in my hands is, in my opinion, one of the best examples of how to perform bestial black death metal. And if you're asking what makes this so different than Fallen Angel of Doom... These songs are a lot, a lot more just, like, ferocious, and I definitely can feel a Slayer inspiration a lot more, as there's a lot clearer guitars and whatnot. It's not as savage and, like, just, like, bestial sounding, like... The sarcophago influence is here, but it's not as strong and as filthy 
as it was when Fallen Angel of Doom was written. This is the blueprint for pretty much so many bands out there. Pretty much anyone you see that's wearing bullet belts, sleeveless shirts, chains, pretty much just black corpse paint on the eyes. It all comes from these maniacs right here. In my opinion, alongside Sarcophago. I mean, yeah, there's tons that do the corpse paint thing, but it's mostly black and white face paint. Blasphemy went the sarcophago route and made it like a more legit ritual, like, war paint. It wasn't corpse paint, it was fucking war paint. And we can argue what's corpse paint, what's war paint, but I do notice when I see bestial black death metal bands live, they're normally not wearing regular corpse paint. They normally have sunglasses on inside, and I'm not busting balls, I'm being serious. But underneath their eyes, they'll have like some black or something, just a little bit. And it will be kind of done sloppy on purpose, just to be like, yo, this is a fucking battle, and we're gonna destroy the parasite, we're gonna destroy Jesus Christ through our tunes. And Blood Upon the Altar, we have Side Darkness and Side Impurity. So fucking sick. I, I, I love this fucking release. And you have the Ross Bay intro. War Command! Demonac weltering in blood and uh, my personal favorite, Ritual! But on side Impurity, we have Nocturnal Slayer, Blasphemy, and Blasphemous Attack. Killer, killer fucking tunes. And this right here is, in my opinion, completely essential to all fans of bestial black death metal. And I'm sure you fucking know that already. Like... Even if you're new to the genre and you're just getting into, like, revenge or something along those lines, you should probably hear one of the first bands to properly do the genre justice. Like, alongside Sarcophago, INRI, early, early Sepultura, with, like, fucking, uh... I think it's Bestial Mockery and uh, Morbid Visions, I think. I might be wrong on that, and I apologize if I'm wrong. But to me, a lot of this whole war, bestial, black death sound started with Behera in Finland, Sarcophago in South America, and then... That made its way to the great white north of Canada and into the ears of these fucking power-lifting satanic maniacs in blasphemy. And what was created is extreme music history. And we have bass and lead vocals by Nocturnal Grave Desecrator and Black Winds. Lead guitars, backup vocals by the Black Priest of the Seven Satanic Blood Rituals. Drums by Three Hearts of Damnation and Impurity. And lead guitars by the mighty Carrier of Storms. The fucking man. And this is recorded at... Flyasco Brothers Studios 1980 fucking 9 Fuck yeah I love this stuff And I know a lot of fans of Bestial Black Death War Metal Are fans of the demo material Just as much as they are the full lengths I've noticed Bands like Death Worship for example they released the demo version of this mini LP on vinyl, cassette, 
and it sounds like just as sick, if not sicker, than the finished version. It's just a lot more raw and like savage sounding where I feel like Blood Upon the Altar is kind of the opposite. Where this is a lot crispier, where Fallen Angel of Doom is like, just, oh my god, riddled in just evil and filth. Where this is a little bit more along, like, the crispiness of, like, Slayer, Show No Mercy, Hellawait. Especially with the guitar solos and whatnot being a lot less manic and a lot just clearer and high up in the mix and whatnot. But this is an absolute essential listen right here. Even if you're not a fan of Bestial Black Death Metal, this is an extreme music milestone in my opinion. And that is Blasphemy Blood Upon the Altar demo. Available again on Nuclear War Now Productions. Osmos Productions took care of this reissue on their version of Gods of War on the B side of things. But Nuclear War Now reissued both the Gods of War release alongside a separate release for Blood Upon the Altar. I have the cassette version in my hand, but... They also have a vinyl version, so that's awesome. Like I said, I did hear rumors about a box set, so I'm kind of hoping that that does happen, and I can, you know, just have everything in a nice box and call it a day. But until then, I'll keep blasting my copy of Gods of War, the Osmos Productions version, so I can enjoy this on vinyl if I want. But now I can also enjoy it on cassette. But to be honest with you, I like going from Fallen Angel of Doom and then putting on Gods of War into the demo. Now I can switch things up a bit and start with the demo in the Fallen Angel of Doom and then end things with Gods of War and then just replaying the demo on vinyl. That sounds like a fucking plan, but if you're a fan of Bestial Black Death Metal, extreme music in general, Blasphemy's Blood Upon the Altar is totally fucking essential. And again, if you're a fan of Bestial Black Death Metal, this is absolutely essential. Death Worship. Extermination Mass. As much as I love the vinyl, I just felt like listening to the cassette. Fuck yeah. I can't wait for End Times to come out. And yeah. As always, thanks for watching though. Dominic, you fucking rule. Thank you. And thank you John Randall as always for supporting this channel and making me not want to just... Ugh! But... Have a good day. It's gorgeous outside. It's not even like 8 in the morning. So let's enjoy this day. Hells.